Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Friday, January 7th. The reading, Thomas Guthrie, 1803-1873. Volumes of theology have been written and long controversies have waxed hot about the question whether heaven is or is not in part the reward of our own good works. Now it appears to me that there is one word in my text whose voice authoritatively and summarily settles that matter and would have always settled it had not men's heart been filled with angry passions and their ears confused with the din of battle. That word is inheritance. What is inheritance? The pay of a soldier is not inheritance. Neither are the fees of a lawyer or a physician, nor the gains of trade, nor the wages of labor, rewards of toil or skill. They are earned by the hands that receive them. What is inherited, on the other hand, may be the property of a newborn babe. And so you must see the coronet which was won by the stout orm of valor and first emblazoned on a battered shield standing above the cradle of a wailing infant. True, ample estate, the noble rank, the hereditary honors were won, but they that won them are long dead. Their swords are rust, their bodies dust and underneath tattered banners, once born before them in bloody fight, but now hung high in the house of God, the grim old barons sleep in their marble tombs. The rewards of their prowess and patriotism have descended to their successors, who holding these enjoy honors and estates which we do not grudge them, but which their wealth never bought and their courage never won. Thus the saints hold heaven. In terms of a court of law, it is theirs not by conquest, but by heritage. And the prayer. John Wallace Souter, 1859. 1942. Reveal thyself to us, O God, as thou didst to all the world in Christ our Lord, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, that drawn by the star of his appearing, we may lay the treasures of our life at his feet, whom with thee and the Holy Spirit we worship and glorify as one God, world without end. Amen.